Hi, welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds. Right, I am so excited for today's video because in today's video I will be competing in the very first battle of the YouTube puzzlers. So in case you don't know what that is, put simply it's a speed puzzling contest between myself and four other awesome YouTube puzzlers. And those YouTubers are uh, Donna Louise who's over at For the Love of Puzzles and she is representing New Zealand. And then there's Jeanette at Jeanette and Her Puzzles and she's representing Slovenia. Then we've got Juby at Jigsaw Juby and she is representing Australia. And then we've also got Judy, whose channel is Addicted to Puzzles, and she's representing the US. And of course, me here at Vicky Makes and Builds, and I am representing the United Kingdom. So we are competing to see who is the fastest at building this puzzle here. It's called Cute Dogs in the Garden, and it is a 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle. As far as I know, we will all be doing this from puzzle opening right up to actual, you know, finishing the puzzle. So it still has the cellophane on and when I start the timer, that is when the cellophane will come off. So as I speak to you now, all of us YouTubers that are doing this have their videos up and premiering. Um, we've all put our videos up simultaneously. So basically we've all agreed with each other as well that we won't know each other's times until after the videos have gone up and we've watched each other's videos. We've kept it quiet from each other and we won't know until then. So if you do find out what the other YouTubers times are, before I do, please avoid putting it in the comments or in the live chat because um, I don't want to know, I want to watch their videos and I want to find out for myself. So, uh, but I would definitely say go and check out all the other videos on this, which I have linked in the description below. Uh, go and watch all the other contenders and see how they do as well. And if you aren't subscribed to any of those, then please do consider subscribing to them because they're all really, really awesome YouTube puzzlers and and content creators. So not only are there links to all the other videos in the description, I've also put a link into a Google form so that you can join in with this yourself. Obviously we're, we're doing it and premiering these today, so we'll, we've already done ours by now, but the form will be active and live until the 28th of February. So if you fancy having a go at this yourselves, please do feel free to go and get Cute Dogs in the Garden, uh, the 500 piece Ravensburger puzzle, and then see how fast you can build it. And what you do is you just click on the form, you put your name and your country, and um, the time it took you to complete the puzzle. And Donna Louise, I think, is going to collate all those results and um, we will reveal uh, the results of that in March. So that's exciting too. I, I'm so excited about this and to be involved in it. And it's just great if everybody else can get involved in the fun as well, because it really is, it's all good fun. Although saying that, I am puzzling to win. <laughs> So I will do my best <laughs> to try to do that. So I think that's me. I've pretty much covered everything. I am as ready as I will ever be. Time to start speed puzzling. Wish me luck.
exhaustion. It's more of a, I'm just so intensely puzzling for this wee length of time. And uh, yeah, I, I'm always just a wee bit tired at the end of it, but I really enjoyed it. It was really good. I got really immersed in it. And I really don't feel like I could have gone any faster. I feel like as fast as I possibly could. But it was quite a detailed puzzle to build. And the thing is that, that quite a lot of the pieces were fence pieces and quite a lot of them were bicycle pieces. So my sorted, the strategy I used was to sort. I sorted all the pieces and then I just started putting piles together just randomly. And, you know, the smaller piles like the baskets and, the, the you know, the dogs and things like yellow flowers and purple flowers, the smaller piles went together really quickly. But then when it came to fence and bike, they were quite large piles of pieces, so, you know, they, they slowed me down quite a lot. But I, I was happy with the time, and I will tell you what the time was. I managed to do it in one hour, 19 minutes, and 44 seconds. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I did three puzzles to practice for this event, and with each one I got a better time. But I did think that this puzzle was more challenging than the other three puzzles, with the possible exception of the lighthouse at sunset. I've actually put pictures of those three puzzles up on my community tab. So if you've not seen those or seen my times on those, go and have a look at my community tab because I've put those up. But basically I did lighthouse at sunset first and managed that in about one hour, 27 minutes. And, and this one, maybe equal difficulty, possibly more challenging. The second one I did, I did it in roughly one hour 12, and then the third one was one hour and nine. So I was steadily progressing, but then this one, obviously, I was a little bit slower on with one hour and 19, but I did, I honestly thought that this puzzle was quite challenging, but I really did enjoy it. I felt like I went as fast as I possibly could. Um, just to sort of be very open here, I, in spite of my best efforts to get my camera to not stop recording, which it does sometimes, sometimes the battery runs out, things like that. I even went as far as to buy a cable for this specific thing so I could plug it into the mains and run the power off the mains so it wouldn't go off for that reason. I, I tried everything, but for whatever reason, the camera actually did stop recording twice. And I, when I noticed that that had happened, I paused the timer, restarted the recording, and I restarted the timer again. I did no puzzling in between. <laughs> I just literally pause, turn on camera, restart, puzzle. That's how it happened. And that happened twice. And I, But I am thankful that I noticed it in good time because there is not really a gap that I can discern anyway in any of the footage. It seems to be fairly seamless, I think. So, you know, I, th that's all fine. If anything, to be honest, that slowed me down a little bit because the first time it happened, it really quite put me off. And I got into a wee bit of a panic because I was afraid I might have missed some footage. I haven't. It's all fine. <laughs> but I was just very, very frustrated because I did quite a lot to try and ensure that didn't happen, and it did. But anyway, I let all of my uh, fellow contenders know, and they're all fine with it. And it's all just for fun anyway, so who knows? Who knows? Like, I don't... Honestly, <laughs> I'm not certain I would have won with that time, to be fair. I don't know at this point if I have or not. I have not watched any of the other videos yet. So remember, don't give anything away in the comments or in the live chat. I want to go and watch all the other videos and see how they all did and I'll find out for myself. But I've so enjoyed this. I feel so privileged to be part of the very first Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers event. And I say very first because I'm convinced there will be more. We've been talking about it. We've got other YouTube Puzzlers that really want to get involved in this. And I think there will be a uh, battle of the YouTube puzzlers two and three and more. And so it's just, oh, it's just so much fun. Now I have again, linked all of the other premiere videos in my description. So you can click any one of those if you want to, if I, you know, doesn't really matter what order you watch them in. At the end of my video, there will be a link to um, Donna Louisa's video. We've all kind of done that in like a wee circle. But you know, what, what order you watch them in is entirely up to you. But uh, they're all down there in the description. 
I would encourage you to go and watch the others because they're all awesome puzzlers and just brilliant people. And I just can't, I can't wait, can't wait to find out how everybody's done. And don't forget as well that there is an online form in linked in the description as well. So if you decide you would like to join in with us, you can still buy that puzzle and do your speed run on it. And all you need to do is just click a link to the form. We should all have it linked in all of our descriptions. So you'll find it somewhere, but you can pop into my description. You can click on that link, just pop in your name, your time and your country. And you've got till the 28th of February to join us with that. And we will collate all of the, all of the results and let you know how that went in March. But I want to thank you so much for being here. I've really, really enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me for my premiere and joining me in the live chat. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider subscribing to my channel. But in the meantime, I will wish you all happy puzzling, happy speed puzzling, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.